this morning, my portion is to address the issue of the verification processes for the examination council of Zambia against the calendar of the other ECZ, the electoral commission of Zambia. It has become increasingly clear that our candidates are encountering a lot of challenges in the processes of them acquiring the certified uh, certificate of the 12 and also the letters of confirmation that would then allow them to participate in this national event and or rather to make them eligible for contestation. Um, the process is not only slow, um, we, are, we have been informed that uh, in certain provinces, like central province, uh, the areas of Mungwa, they do not have any verification center, as the case is for southern province, Copper Belt, eastern province. Uh, northern province. So there has been congestion at both the Soccer Boys, which is a center for verification, and the Woodlands office for the ECZ. And because of this, we would like our members who are interested parties in uh, participating in this event, and also to whom it may concern, that uh, First one to the date that we had set for closing the receiving of application forms, it has become absolutely necessary and inevitable for us to once again shift the date, uh, the closing date for receiving application forms from tomorrow the 26th of March 2021 to the 2nd of April 2021, in order to allow our members, the bona fide members of UPMB, an opportunity to get their documents verified and uh, for them to also obtain the letters of confirmation. In this process, there has been some desperation that is recorded, and we are told there are some self styled uh, agents of the ECZ, the Examinations Council of Zambia, who may be offering a service for express delivery of these much required documents. So it is because of this that we want to put a caution to our members that this is a DYT, do-it-yourself exercise, because there's a possibility that these agents could be unscrupulous, they could get uh, a non-authentic document or in short forged documents and the, the caution to our members really is to say the UPND and I'm going to emphasize this will not be responsible they will not take any responsibility for any member who will have found themselves in a circumstance of providing or presenting a document that is not authentic and that is not genuine, or in short, that is forged. UPN will not stand with you in this matter because it's a jailable offense for anyone to produce a counterfeit document or a forged document. And because of this reason, we want to put this call, an early warning call, that please, since you've got an extra eight days, just follow the correct processes, get the documents from the relevant designated offices yourself, and do not allow anyone to bring consultancy services and say they can try and help you express you. And so we once again want to wish all the aspiring candidates in this uh, year, 12th of August 2021, general elections, the best, and that may the best people take the back. I'm done. Thank you very much.
said he did a uh, COVID test. <laughs> Now, my part is to indicate that uh, the UPND, through its Secretary General, Honorable Batuke Imenda, has written to the Human Rights Commission, the Law Association of Zambia, the church mother bodies on a subject of unlawful detentions of UPND members. And it is couched as follows that further to the subject above, we write to the to register our grave concern over the continued arbitrary and extrajudicial detentions of our members by the patriotic front government using Zambia police. This is in public domain and is now on the increase as we head towards the general elections in August. These detentions are widespread across the country. We presently as evidence of the arbitrary detentions, have the following. One, Honorable Axon Sejani, former minister under the MND administration and former member of parliament for Mapatiza, and now a national management committee member of the UPND. Number two is worship the mayor for Mazabuka, Mr. Vincent Lilanda. Number three is worship the mayor for Choma, Mr. Javin Smoloka, and for Mr. F. Malambo, resident and businessman of Choma, currently detained by police in Lusaka for now five days without a charge being prepared on them and without formally arresting them. This clearly is a violation of the Zambian constitution because the Zambian constitution in terms of Article 18 provides for the presumption of innocence to all persons held by police on suspicion of commission of a crime. Further, Section 33 of the Criminal Procedure Code, Cap 88 of the Laws of Zambia, provides that a person taken custody by police on an allegation of committing a crime has to be taken to court within 24 hours of his detention and or arrest. The manner of arrest and procedures are contained in section 18 of the Criminal Procedure Code, Cap 88 of the Laws of Zambia. Therefore, anything done outside what the law provides becomes arbitrary extrajudicial and illegal and in the case of detentions of politicians such as the ones I have whose names I've just given out that amounts to political persecution and violation of human rights. Honorable Sejani and uh, three others have just been told through a one and caution statement that police suspect them of being involved in the alleged abduction of one Feluna Hatembo and Milton Hatembo, who were last seen publicly on the 4th of March 2021 in Choma at a media briefing where the duo told the nation that they were not under any form of abduction, rather that they were hiding from politicians, forcing them to appeal a civil matter which they had taken out against the leader of the UPND, Mr. Hakaide Hichelema, which the court dismissed. Being deeply concerned by the escalation in these arbitrary detentions of our members by Zambia police, we now, as we do, write to your institutions for intervention on this 
and similar matters. To ensure observance, upholding and defending human rights being occasioned by the patriotic front government on innocent citizens, the violation of which. It is our sincere belief that such intervention by the Human Rights Commission, the Law Association of Zambia, the church mother bodies, and other similar civil society organizations of similar mindset would help in upholding and defending human rights and also the constitution of the Republic of Zambia. This, we believe, may help in the restoration of the rule of law and upholding of Zambia as a limited government, that is to say, a constitutional government. Thus, as we near the general elections, we humbly request these institutions, as they have done before, to come to the aid of the voiceless citizens in defense of the Zambian constitution. It is our held view at the present moment, and we believe held by many citizens, that it has now become abundantly clear that the current patriotic front government attaches little or no regard whatsoever to the observance of human rights in particular and the rule of law in general. With this step that the party has taken, it is the intention of the UPND to escalate these violations of human rights to other bodies or interest groups not just locally, but regionally and internationally, because human rights are universally enjoyed and therefore universally defended. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you, Honorable. And uh, looking at time, in case there are any one or two questions on the subject, uh, under if there are any. One or two questions. Just, just, just a clarity. Uh, when you said uh, you, you mentioned uh, uh, the, the the situation at um, the process of registration is standing, is it only affecting the European <laughs> or is it a general situation for all? Uh, we haven't got the instruments to determine whether we're the only victim. We can only speak about our our side and what we are experiencing. So the fact of the matter is there is a heavy congestion here. And because people have not identified themselves in which part they belong to, it is difficult to tell whether it is only us who are affected. We wouldn't like to think that way. Um, we have no evidence to show that we are the only ones. Um, my name is Mangaya, I write for the news. My question is going to the corner from Um Following the events surrounding the matter in the hand, which has led to the rest of these people, there was an attempted appeal, and the appeal was withdrawn. And according to the law, when the, the matter has been withdrawn, the court pronounces itself, and that matter cannot go back to the court in the similar manner, having the similar parties to be held by another, by another judge, that will be an abuse of, of, of the court processes. In your opinion, what do you think these people are up to? Because the belief those people came, they forced them to take the matter court. Other rats with, with cut, that matter cannot be held by another court because that will be an abuse. That, that case was completely buried. It reaches finality. So, in your opinion, what do you think these people are up to? 
Well, thank you very much. I will not delve into the arena of uh, the legal uh, processes. Uh, uh, this, what would happen if that matter is taken back to court. All I can say is that uh, the present matter has nothing to do in real terms with uh, the court processes. The present matter has everything to do with politics, trying to find a way to implicate HH. We saw Madam Edith Nawaf when she was saying that these people are being abducted by HH's criminal gang. So everything that is being done is pointing to finding some fault line in the direction of HH. At the time when they manufactured a brother to these uh, two people who are said to, to have been abducted and ferried that person to Lusaka Central Police, why did that person leave all these police stations where uh, he came from? But he was ferried to come to Lusaka Central Police for political drama to say, I'm complaining that my brother and sister have disappeared for two months now. And at the time when he was saying, my brother and sister have disappeared for two months now, the duo who are alleged to have disappeared had just had a briefing two days prior to that circus at, at, at Zambia police. They had just had a, a briefing in Choma for two hours, streaming live on social media platforms and broadcasting live on local radio stations who got interest to uh, ensure that the public got to know about the situation of these people. And they made it very abundantly clear that they were under no, they were under no abduction whatsoever. But uh, some people without any sense of shame keep on insisting, no, HS has hidden uh, these people. I want to put it very clear here to separate daybreak from night, that HH has nothing to do with these people. These people are collaborators with surrogates of PF, with Madam Edith Nawak, who wanted to implicate HH in a scam that some 20 years ago he acquired a farm which he did not pay for. How can someone occupy a farm for 20 years which he has not paid for? And after 20 years, you wake up and say, no, you didn't pay for this. This kind of political drama should not be, should not be entertained. But political drama, yes, can be done to a certain extent, but not to the extent where you begin to arbitrarily arrest people, connect them to the abduction, and then look for, try to look for ways to bring in HH. Be ready and prepared to face HH in the elections. PF have been bragging that they are working government. In 2016, they had a slogan to say, We encourage them to go back to the people and talk about Sondopo Aho. And the people have a lot of areas to saunter the citizens. Corruption, abuse of authority of office, violation of human rights, collapsing an entire economy to a level where we have a cash crunch, no liquidity, no money in circulation. The only people who have money in circulation, we know them. A clique of PF individuals who are brandishing patches and batches of money, which many Zambians suspect is printed money, because money with value cannot be abused in the manner they are doing. So this is the background PF is coming into this election. And somehow, if you check their demeanor now, they are beginning to realize that the people have parted company with them. Hence, these maneuvers to try and implicate HH in this silly political scheme. We think this shall not work. 
and we urge the citizens out there, especially the UPND supporters, to maintain calm. We are law-abiding citizens. Let us continue to campaign. The people of Zambia will have the last say at the ballot. Thank you. Thank you very much, Honorable uh, Mokanda, for that trip. Thank you very much, colleagues, for coming.